Hello, Virgo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 16th of October. Your ruling planet is the planet of talk and thought, Mercury. This enables you to communicate with a great deal of crispness and clarity. It also helps you to distill what's really meaningful in situations because your earth, uh, your earth element means that you like to take your ideas but see them transformed in some kind of tangible way. Now this week Mercury is going to be moving on Tuesday to join up with Jupiter for the following three days, moves into the sign of Scorpio. Now I think you're going to find that the pace of life will pick up considerably from this and you could have some sparkling conversations, interactions. Don't be surprised if more text messages and emails are whizzing back and forwards. If you're looking for a relationship, you may find that connecting with someone on the internet may just work, even if you've had previous frustrations. In general, you're going to have an electric and positive way of thinking about things that other people can really be drawn towards. But Mars in your sign is still making you very single-minded, but is clashing with the planet of unpredictability, Uranus. Now, at the current time, with the Sun and also Venus in your sector of resources, making sure the foundations in your world are secure is of primary importance. So this angle between Mars and Uranus is going to be about balancing what's good for you as an individual with what works with other people wherever you have deep commitments. Now, that could be uh, some kind of relationship you have with a financial institution, the eighth house, or it could be someone you're involved with in a business or even in a personal context. But try not to be too impulsive in terms of balancing what you want through what's been previously agreed or what will work in a collective sense between you. However, there is a new moon which occurs on Thursday, which can be fabulous for your resources. But ironically, this also is in opposition with Uranus. So the restless energies of Uranus are going to be very much to the fore this week, whether in an individual sense, in terms of your plans, or in terms of finances. So just try to be aware that Uranus can be very exciting, but it's also about us demonstrating our individuality. And because it is such a buzzy energy, our ideas can change. It's not a particularly stable planetary influence, not in the sign of Aries. So if you are trying to go forwards in terms of marshalling your resources, working very closely with someone else, I think, although you could have some brilliant moments of ingenuity and inspiration, think them through, talk them through, so there is a real sense of agreement. If you get that agreement, and it's entirely possible with Mercury combining with Jupiter, then that will make you feel a lot more comfortable. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.